In today's video, I want to introduce a new super trend indicator on TradingView that gives the most accurate buy sell signals. Just make sure you watch this video until the end because I'm going to teach you a very profitable trading strategy based on this new super trend. To add this amazing indicator to our chart, here we click on indicators and we search standardized super trend oscillator. This one, which is written by someone named Quanti Lux. All right, this is the new super trend. And instead of overlaying on the price chart like older versions, this one is added here below the chart because it's an oscillator and as you can see it's moving above and below the center line which is zero by transforming the original super trend into an oscillator this indicator offers both of trend following capabilities and mean reversion capabilities which means besides helping us with trends like the original version it also helps us to identify potential reversals based on overbought and oversold conditions as you can see we have different components here in this indicator which i explain them now and after that i'll teach you a very accurate a trading strategy based on this indicator so make sure you won't miss it as you can see we have candles here heikenoshi candles and this is actually super trend oscillator a super trend that is standardized and it's shown like heikenoshi candles by default here in the settings of the indicator here you can change the style of the oscillator if you set it on line you will just have a smooth line but when you set it on candles you will have heikenoshi candles this style is more suitable when you need more information for example example when you want to know exactly when the momentum is changing consider you are using this indicator in a trend following strategy and you want to enter in the pullbacks so these candles help you to know when there is a pullback when it's green it means a pullback is probably forming and it lets you know when the pullback is ended and you can enter a trade let's change the style of the super trend oscillator to line because for now i'm just explaining the indicator and this is a more clear view of the indicator all right so this white line with green and red shadows is our super trend oscillator and like any other oscillators when it crosses the center line it can be a signal for changing in the trend when it crosses below the center line it's a signal of downtrend and when it crosses above the center line it's a signal of an uptrend but during the times that the market is flat like here in this part just like any other oscillators we can have false center line crossovers or it can also happen in deep pullbacks during trends there is an option in the settings of the indicator a Kenoshi source which when you turn it on the super trend oscillator becomes smoother and so generating less false signals on the center line crossovers for example for this part during this flat market when i turn it on you can see how it reduced the false signals we keep this option on because by doing so we will have a smoother oscillator line all right as you can see besides this white line which is super trend oscillator we have red red lines and blue lines also which are super trend of the super trend oscillator it's a kind of super trend of a super trend if you don't need it and you find them distracting here in the settings of the indicator you can turn it off here super trend of oscillator but we need it for our strategy here for contrarian signals if we set it on both of the signals buy and sell we will have buy sell signals based on super trend of our super trend oscillator when it becomes red it's a sell signal and when it becomes blue it's a buy signal these signals are faster than the center line crossovers i mean the center line crossover of the oscillator line and we need these signals in our strategy we have also these uh, yellow lines which are reversion tracer these are based on rsi and they provide dynamic threshold for overbought and oversold areas here in the settings of the indicator for reversion signals if you turn on both both of overbought and oversold the indicator will show over overbought and oversold signals when the oscillator goes beyond these levels i didn't found them very useful actually we have better indicators for this purpose like rsi so again we go to the settings of the indicator and we turn off the reversion signals all right now let me teach you a trading strategy based on this indicator as you can see some of these signals are very good and we have large movements of the price after them but some others are not good and we need to filter them for this purpose here we click on indicators and we search macd 
this one moving average convergence divergence and we need to change the settings of the MACD indicator here for the fast length we set it at 100 for the slow length we set it at 200 and for signal smoothing we set it at 50 and then here for the time frame we set it on a higher time frame than our chart time frame right now we are on one hour time frame so here we set it on four hours time frame and then here in the style tab we remove MACD line and segment line and for the appearance of the histogram we set it on area everything is already set on the chart and before we start the strategy please give this video a like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos all right this macd with the special settings that we made show us the overall trend of the market on higher time frame when it's green the overall trend of the market is up and when it's red the overall trend of the market is down so when macd has Instagram is green we only take these buy signals we don't care about these sell signals because MACD histogram is telling us that the overall trend of the market is up and these sell signals are against the trend of the market but these buy signals are in the same direction with the overall trend and as you can see all of them are profitable signals but if you look at the sell signals you can see that they were not good signals on the other hand when MACD histogram is red we only take sell signals because MACD histogram is telling us that the overall trend is down so we should only take the signals that are in the same direction with the direction of the overall trend please pay attention that this strategy is a trend following strategy and in times that a reversal is happening in the market you may get bad signals like this or especially when the market is not trending you may encounter false signals so you need to manage your risk properly there is a risk management strategy that is called one percent rule and it's one of the best risk management strategies that you can use i have a complete guide on this the link is also placed in the description and i highly recommend you to watch it because without a proper risk management strategy you cannot become a successful trader all right that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading